If you're new to Vegas Pro 15 or any other earlier versions of the software and want to learn how to edit, this is the video for you. This is a beginning editing tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get straight into it. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Delvage and from my previous video on how to get Sony Vegas Pro 15 is actually doing really well right now and you guys have requested in the comments section of that video on how to use this program, you know, the basics of editing in Sony Vegas. So I'm going to bring that video to you guys today, a really simple tutorial that should help you get started with this editing software. So the very first thing you need to do when you open up Sony Vegas is go into file and open and from here you can choose whatever file you want on your desktop or in your downloads or whatever folder you have but for the purposes of this video I'm just gonna choose my intro here so I'm gonna go and choose that and we click open and it will show up in the project media after we click no to not match the project settings with our video settings here so we have it on our timeline here at the bottom this is basically where you're going to be editing the majority of your video stuff if we zoom in here we can see that the clip is around 10 seconds long and we can zoom back out so if you want to make precise editing all you have to do is use the scroll wheel and zoom in here if you really want to going back over to the top here we can see that we have a bunch of different panels we have the project media panel the Explorer the video effects the media generator and transitions now for whatever reason if you guys accidentally click this X button here and remove one of these panels and you actually need to use it don't worry all you have to do is go to view window and then choose whatever you want so I'll click transitions and as you can see it is backed and docked in our window so if I start playing this video right now you can see on the right side that it's in the preview window now I have the track muted right now just because I don't have headphones on and I don't want to have it blast through my microphone while I'm playing this clip but you guys see what I mean if you click the play button it will show up in the preview window now the very first thing I want you guys to do is go into these settings here at the top where it says preview auto if you've opened Vegas for the first time and change that to best and half now if you have a really good PC you might want to go best and full over here but my PC is basically a little bit below average so I'm gonna keep it at best and half it might start lagging a little bit it might not work as best as it could if it's all the way up at best full if your PC is not good so I'm gonna leave it at best half for right now below that we can see the project settings for our video right here so my video right now is playing at 960 by 540 in 60 frames per second but the actual video properties are 1920 by 1080 this is where the best half comes into play if I went to best full it would show the full resolution in the preview window. Now the next thing I want you guys to go and do is go into file and properties and here we're going to tinker with a few things to help set up Vegas so it's better for you guys in the long run. So the very first thing you want to do is change the resolution to whatever video quality size you're making. If you make videos in 1080p, make the video in 1080p. If you're using 30 frames, use 30 frames. I'm just going to leave it at 59.94. Uh, which is basically 60 frames. I'm going to leave it at that. And one thing you're really going to want to do is make sure you change the resample mode from whatever it is. I believe it's smart resample, but change that to disable resample. Make sure you click the start all new projects with these settings and then click apply and then click OK. Now going back to the timeline, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but I want to get the beginning stuff out of the way first. So going back to the timeline here at the bottom, we have some sliders and we can slide this to the left to make the opacity go down. And the same thing goes with the audio. If we want to put the volume down in decibels, we can slide it up or down depending on what we want. If we want to create a new layer in our timeline, all we have to do is right click and go to insert video track right here, or alternatively we can go right click and go insert audio track and it will insert another track now if you want to drag a layer below or above another layer all you have to do is go to the left side and choose the layer that you want to drag and then just click and drag it anywhere on the timeline so if we wanted to add this audio layer or actually video layer down a little bit we can add it below everything else and it's very simple to do that if you want to delete a layer all you have to do is press delete and I'm gonna do that for both of the ones that we created if you want to split something in your clip all you have to do is go and zoom in to where you want to split it and press S on your keyboard and it will split it. You can drag the two separate clips however you want on the timeline. If you ever make a mistake in Sony Vegas, don't worry. All you have to do is press Control and Z and it will redo the mistake that you already did. So I'm just going to press it a few times so we can get back to our original intro clip. There we go. It is now not separated anymore. We can press Control and Z and undo anything that we need to. So now I'm going to show you guys how to fade in a video clip. So if we zoom in here on our timeline, we can see that there's a turquoise triangle at the very top left of our clip and it is called the fade in offset so we can click and drag that inward and as we can see if we play the video right now 
it will fade in and we can make that longer if we really want to we can make it all the way over here if we really wanted to do that here I'll play it again for you guys and as you can see it adds a fade in effect and we can do the exact same thing here at the back end of our video clip we can add a fade out effect so that it gets darker as it starts to fade out and there are a bunch of different settings for the fading effect but I'm just gonna leave it default for right there just so you guys get the gist of it if you guys want to zoom into a clip all you have to do is press this little square panel over here at the very top of your video clip and it will open the pan and crop effects. I'm just gonna make this slightly larger so we can see what we're doing here. And here we have a bunch of different settings, but the main thing you're going to want to do if you want to zoom into a clip is choose the very top right and uh, you know, just play around with it. You can zoom in here, you can make it a little bit larger than it's supposed to be, or again, like I mentioned before, you can zoom in. When you're finished, just click the X button, and as you can see, the clip will be zoomed in for the entire duration. Now, there is a way to get it only zoomed in for certain parts of the clip, but that's more advanced. I'm not going to go into that. If you guys want to see an advanced tutorial on Sony Vegas, let me know in the comment section below, and I can definitely bring that to you guys. If you want to add a transition to the start or end of a video clip, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So, the next thing I'm going to do is go to File and Open, and I'm just going to choose a Another video clip that I I don't know I'm just gonna choose something really random and I'm just gonna choose an image this is my previous thumbnail from my last video so for whatever reason if you want to add a transition between these two clips here as we can see it ends and it automatically starts at the new clip all you have to do is go into the transitions tab over here on the left side and choose a transition that you like now I'm just gonna click zoom just because and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag it into the middle of these two clips and it should apply the effect. After that, I'm gonna zoom in so we can see the actual transition in effect and I'm gonna make it larger here. And as we can see, if we play the video clip one more time, it starts to zoom in from our previous clip. Now, one thing that I definitely wanted to learn when I started using Sony Vegas is how to separate a video and audio clip if they're in the exact same file. So all you have to do is select the clip. And as we can see, if I want to only move the video track on this clip, it's unfortunately going to move the audio with us. So if we want to separate the two, all we have to do is select the video track or the audio track and press U on our keyboard and it will unclip them and we can move the video and the audio separately if we want. If you want to mute a certain track so you don't see the effects of that track compared to the other tracks, all you have to do is click the mute button here on the left side on the timeline and it will mute that track for you. Another really good useful tip is if you're using gameplay videos or vlogging or any kind of really good motion video, what you want to do when you add that to your timeline in Sony Vegas is go and right click go to properties and then go to disable resample. If you don't disable the resample, what happens is Sony Vegas creates a ghosting effect on your video and it looks especially terrible for gameplay videos, but it also looks pretty bad for vlogs as well. Make sure you're always disabling the resample when you add a new motion video track to the timeline. Now combining everything that we've already learned in this tutorial, I'm gonna add some text above our regular video layer. So I'm gonna go right click and go to insert video track. After that, I'm gonna go to media generators and we can see here if we go to titles and text we can select some text some sample text over here and we can drag it onto our timeline over here once the text is on our timeline we can choose the select text tool here at the top the generated media and we can edit the text that we already put onto our layer from here we can change the text to whatever we want so for my example I'm just gonna put tutorial we can change the font if we select it and change the font to whatever font you have installed on your computer. You can change it to bold, you can add an italicized effect. Scrolling down, we can add an outline if we really wanted to, and we can also change the color of this to match what we want exactly. And of course, we can add a drop shadow to the text as well if we so wanted to. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to properly render your video. So when you have everything ready, I'm gonna double click at the bottom to select all of the layers. And if we only wanna render a certain bit, all we have to do is select these little cues at the top, the loop render region, and just render to whatever we want exactly. But of course, I'm gonna render the whole thing. So I'm gonna select the entire track that we've created. I'm gonna go to file and then render as. Now, once you have the render settings open on your computer, you wanna go to magic's AVC slash AAC MP4 and depending on what your video quality is actually at you're gonna want to choose that so for my instance my video is rendering at 1080p 60 frames per second so I'm gonna go to internet HD 1080 59.94 FPS after that I'm gonna go to customize template and from here we can change a bunch of the setting now if you want to use this template in the future all you have to do is rename the template so I'm gonna put YouTube render here at the top and then I'm gonna click save to save the template for later use 
From here, we can change the folder that we want the video to render to. So I'm just gonna click browse and I'm gonna choose the desktop just because it's easy that way. I'm gonna click save. After that, you change the file name to whatever you want the video to be called. So I'm just gonna name it YouTube video and it will save to the desktop. I'm gonna click render. And depending on your PC speed and the size of the video or the length of the video, it's going to take a certain amount of time. But that is basically how you render a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like rating and make sure in the comment section below you leave some more video ideas for me i hope you guys can make use of this video and learn editing in sony vegas i remember when i first started it was a bit confusing but i eventually learned a bunch of stuff just by using the program for an extended period of time so again guys i hope you enjoyed my name's delvage and i'm out peace